I wouldn't do that. What's the problem? Some bars refusing to pay. They reckon they're protected by a local gang of thugs. But don't worry, Tommy. I can handle it. You call this handling it? You two, off your asses. Let's go. Good, sweetie. But ask yourself, are you doing enough? It sounds to me like you're living a lie. Your life is still very man-centric. You're still justifying yourself by the I am not, rather than the I am principle. I mean, really. You might as well make this bed and clean his litter tray, for God's sake. It's half-hearted fools like you who give feminism a bad name. But, uh, I, I even attacked my brother with a bread knife. You show pony! Prom queen, cheerleader, skirt wearer! You see, Amy, that's the thing about people. They're so half-hearted. Pick and mix, not prepared to carry out their threats. That woman, that lady, as I bet she likes to be known, is really a self-hater, a failure in the man's world. Yeah, why, I bet she's never even attacked a man with a bat of boiling oil. But she said she tried to kill her brother. Don't argue with me. I write books. Okay. Her protection needs a little more protection. Ah, oh, hell, not again. I don't need this crap. These idiots operate on CVP security around the block. You guys just sort it out amongst yourselves. I'll be seeing you later. Yeah, yeah, oh, whatever. My head feels like cotton candy! He did every day, man. Move! You can't hate anyone because they're different. You have to work with them. Luckily, I needed a melodically contentious, over educated, careless old harridan like you to tell me how stupid I was being. I mean, we're all of us people, and idiots like you who solve the problems in this world in the name of reclaiming some false ideals. I'm blabbering on and on about gender politics and rallies, just that you can wear leather in public. Why, you missed. Officer. Look at them. The 